In this lecture, we are going to talk about trigonometric lines and circles. First of all, this is from last year, you know that sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, the cosine is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent. Of course, we are talking about right triangle. Now we are going to learn the trigonometric lines on the trigonometric circle. Suppose we have a point M on the circle that makes an angle alpha with the, with the axis of abscissa. The orthogonal projection of M on the x-axis is P and the orthogonal projection of M on the y-axis is Q. So, always remember that the axis of abscissa is the axis of cosine x and the axis of ordinate is the axis of sine x. So, the x component of m is equal to cosine alpha, and the y component of m is equal to sine alpha. You should always know that cosine alpha is between minus 1 and 1, and sine alpha is between minus 1 and 1 also. So, OP squared plus PM squared is equal to OM squared. This is Pythagoras theorem. That's why sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha equals to 1. Important things we are going to learn are the tangent and cotangent of an oriented arc. You have to know that if I have a circle and I have an angle alpha or theta in a right triangle, I have important things to know that the tangent, as you see, is equal to sine over cosine. And cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. That's why tangent angle times cotangent angle is equal to 1. Important rules that you have to study till now are cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha is equal to 1. If you divide all the equation by cosine squared alpha, you are going to have 1 plus tangent squared alpha equals 1 over cosine squared alpha. So cosine squared and angle is equal to 1 over 1 plus tangent squared alpha. This is our second rule. Then if you divide it by sine squared alpha, you're going to have sine squared alpha equals 1 over 1 plus cotangent squared alpha. Those are three rules that you have to study. And now, the unit of measures. You have to know that there are two units of measurement, the degree and the radian. The rule is 360 is ex expressed as 2 pi. Then alpha is expressed um, in beta and radians. So the rule is alpha over 360 equals beta over 2 pi. So you can convert from degree to radians and from radians to degree. Or you can use alpha over 180 equals beta over pi. For an example, suppose I have the angle 60 and I need to express it in radians. So I just use or apply the rule which is 60 over 180 equals beta over pi. Cross multiplication, I will get 60 pi over 180. I simplify so it's pi over Now, oriented circle. So, 
Clockwise is the negative sense. Anticlockwise is the positive sense. So if I say AB equals 60, then BA equals minus 60. Okay, suppose I have an arc AB which is 37 pi. I need to find the principal determination or the principal arc. So I need to write 37 pi as an even orientation plus pi. Why? Because every even orientation is going to lead me again to zero. Because you know, the complete orientation is 2 pi. So 36 pi will lead me to 0 again. And then I have pi, which is half or semi circle. So always remember that you have to express the arc in two uh, measurements one even and one odd. Okay, so. Um, Suppose you have 25 pi over 4, as I told you, you have to express it in even and odd. 24 pi over 4 plus pi over 4. 24 pi over 4 is going to be 6 pi, and 6 pi is 3 into 2 pi, which is k2 pi, which is 0. So in this case, the principal determination is pi over 4 only. Now, relation between the trigonometric line of First of all, we are going to draw the circle alpha and minus alpha. Alpha means in this region. In this region, you have to know that all the trigonometric lines are positive, while minus alpha only cosine is going to be positive. So if I have cosine minus alpha equals cosine alpha, but sine minus alpha is minus sine alpha. Tangent minus alpha is minus tangent alpha and cotangent always follows the tangent because as we said that cotangent equals 1 over tangent. So if the tangent is negative then the cotangent is going to be negative. Now, between alpha and pi minus alpha. And on the circle, as you see, it's in the second region. And this region, only the sign is going to be positive. That means cosine pi minus alpha is minus cosine alpha. And sine pi minus alpha, sine alpha. The tangent also is going to be minus tangent alpha and cotangent follows the tangent. And now we are going to discuss about pi plus alpha. In this region, only the tangent is positive. So cosine pi plus alpha equals minus cosine alpha, sine pi plus alpha equals minus sine alpha, and the tangent equals tangent alpha. So as you see on this circle, this region, which is pi plus alpha, the third region, only the tangent is positive. And now, pi over 2 minus alpha, which is also the first region. And the first region, all the trigonometric lines are positive. But you have to pay attention that cosine pi over 2 minus alpha is going to be sine alpha. And the sine is going to be cosine alpha. Tangent pi over 2 minus alpha equals cotangent alpha. And the cotangent pi over 2 minus alpha equals tangent alpha. Alpha. 
Now, what if I have pi over 2 plus alpha, which is the second region? We already said that in the second region, only the sign is positive. That means that cosine pi over 2 plus alpha equals minus sine alpha. And sine pi over 2 plus alpha equals cosine alpha because only the sine is positive. Tangent pi over 2 plus alpha equals minus cotangent alpha. And cotangent pi over 2 plus alpha equals minus tangent alpha.